Hello and welcome to a Figma review of Figma number 393, Reaper from Overwatch. So, um, about a month ago I did a video on the Genji Figma, obviously also from Overwatch, and today we are cracking open the second of the Overwatch Figmas that I bought over a year ago and have not got around to opening until right now. So today we have the edgiest Owl Mask boy of the game, the, the, the only Owl Mask boy of the game as well. That is Reaper. What's his real name? I can't remember. I'm not that into uh, Overwatch lore. But I do know that I enjoyed playing as Reaper when the game was out, especially more than Genji. I was never a big DPS guy, but... Uh, he was always very fun. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The video is to look at the Figma. So we'll have a quick look at the box and then I'll take him out. So as with Genji, this came out on the 10th year anniversary of Figma. That was a few years ago now. As you can probably tell by the numbers, I think they're in like 500s now. I could be wrong. Maybe it's the 600s actually. Uh, so we'll take a look at the box. Above we have a picture of him kind of shooting one gun whilst kind of, well I was going to say reloading, but Reaper never reloads, he just throws his gun. Uh, same on the bottom. So on one side we've just got a look at him and his um, ammo belt. Very cool. And on the other side is him doing his default kind of pose that you'd get um, on the character select. And I think when he used the teleport as well, I think he'd pop up from the shadows and and go on a killing rampage. And so there's a look at him as well. There's him being neutral. That's his ult, the swirling vortex of death. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, that's him holding up a gun. That's him holding up a gun but in a different way. That's his default again. And that is him shooting. Overall, um, I think he's a decently... Uh, straightforward Figma. I don't think there's a ton of accessories or ever, but you don't really want to with Reaper. I mean, you're not going to switch his hand or anything, are you? Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, crack into this box now and pull the figure out and all the like little accessories, and then we'll take a look at exactly what's inside the box. Okay, I am back. So I've unboxed him, I've put all his accessories out in front of him, and uh, let's take a look at Reaper. So... As is customary, I'll look at the extras first, and then we'll take a look at the Owl Boy himself. Owl Boy is a game, isn't it, I believe? Right, so, um, there is, as with customary with all Figmas, it does come with this very handy little bag, uh, along with, I have put something in here, and that is this thing, it's kind of like a stand attachment thing, uh, because, and I haven't fully worked this out yet, but you do get an alternative uh, stand piece as well, which is kind of more rigid. I don't fully understand this. The instructions like very vaguely <laughs> explained it, but I mean, he clearly does come with a regular stand as you can see here. So I'm not too sure. Um, as you can see, I've, I've left him fairly neutral as well. I've not changed his hands or any accessory parts because that that's what the next part will be about. Uh, so also coming with this fig, is this whirling vortex thing. Now, I appreciate it um, because this, I guess, would double. This could either be the effect of when he teleports, because he appears from the shadows, and this could be the uh, ground for when he does his ult, because he spins around. So, I appreciate it, but also, also it looks a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie, it's, it's not... It's not that great. But whatever, I, I appreciate that they did that. And he also comes with seven additional hands. What a strange number. So let's go through them. Now, the first thing you'll notice about these hands, actually, is they don't look like regular Figma hands because they've got this, like, clear sort of peg thing at the end. Now, I've not taken out his hands yet, so I'll give you guys the rundown of that at the uh, wrap-up at the end here. But it's very interesting, but it does answer something, because I was slightly concerned. Because obviously, you want Reaper to hold two big shotguns. That's what most people are going to display their Reaper Figma doing. And I was a bit concerned that I hope the wrists don't go loose, because obviously he's holding it. But if the joints give way, he'll just constantly be holding them down. And this answers that question. So he doesn't have wrist joints, I suppose. They just like slot in and... Yeah, that's kind of smart. Um, anyway, sorry, we'll take a look at this hand specifically. So this is clearly his 
gun-holding hand. This is his right hand. I am loving the claw detailing. Like, honestly, these hands are, like, some of the best parts of this Figma. Not that the rest of the Figma's bad, but, like, from my initial impression, I was genuinely impressed with these. So that's the right uh, shotgun-holding hand. Uh, so this... So all Figmas usually come with the uneven amount of hands. So on one of their hands, they'll have an additional one. And Reaper's one is a thumbs up. Now, I guess you can do this emote in game or something. What a strange thing to have Reaper do though. Thumbs up. He's, I don't know. I, <laughs> it's interesting. I'll, I'll give it a try. It's very unique, but you know. Uh, so right, the next one, so I got very confused with this, I was like, oh my god, Reaper's got four fingers, what the hell happened to him? He actually does have five, they just modelled the last two straight together for some reason, but whatever. This is like his open hand kind of thing, I do like it, very edgy. I mean, it's Reaper, it's it's what you want, really. Um, again, there's a lot of these hands that are all about not holding his shotguns, which is strange to me, like, uh, I, I don't know, but you know. Uh, and then we've got a kind of loose-ish fist that I don't think you could put a shotgun into, so I don't know what you could put in there, but you can maybe put something, apparently. Um, and yeah, this is just like a punching fist thing. And then the left hand is pretty much just the same, but on the left. So we've got his open hand, and obviously on his left hand he's got spikes as well. So that kind of sets them apart. But yeah, so that's his open, sort of, grabbing hand, I suppose. Uh, this is his closed, but slightly open, punching hand. Again, with the spikes. Uh, and, of course, that is his... Uh, this is his shotgun-wielding hand on his left. So, there we are. That's they're, they're pretty cool, as I say. Like, I love the attention to details, obviously, because he's got spiky fingers and everything. They, you know, they, they really went to town with that. And then there's this his shotguns. There's no point showing you both because they're identical, I'm pretty sure. But these are really nice shotguns, to be honest. Like, all of the detailing that you'd see from the game, obviously it's more kind of that way in the game that you'd see it most, but, you know, they are very nice. Now, as you can see, obviously there's a hole there, and I'll show you that in a second. But, you know, the modelling is fantastic. I mean, the shotguns are what makes Reaper, apart from the owl mask and all of his costume uh, but yeah this is very very nice and uh, as I said I'm not going to show you both but you do also get these things so these obviously slot on to the end of the shotguns uh, so this is for his ult when he sort of does the is it death lotus or something it's named after a flower isn't it I want to say I don't know, tell me in the comments below. But yeah, this is really gnarly. Like, I love the modelling on the just, like, weird flower-like explosion of red dark energy or whatever. Really digging that. And obviously you get two, one for each shotgun, so he can do his pose. Right, let's move on to the Reap Boy himself. So he comes the regular stand, as you can guess. Uh, his feet as you'd imagine, are really, really cool. So I think you can pull his feet off because it came with plastic around his knees, but thankfully it just pulled off anyway. But there are his chunky, like, robot boots and stuff. Man, I, I love Reaper's costume. It's one of my favourite in the game. Um, he's just, like, he's so edgy. Um, but unapologetically so, which is why I love him. So he's got like a belt buckle kind of thing. Is that Talon's uh, symbol? Because Talon is obviously the group he's a part of. There's some shotgun shells there on a belt. It does move a little bit. It doesn't move loads, but you don't want it to move loads, really. Um, the least free-moving parts on a figure, the better. Uh, so going up to his arm and stuff, obviously that is very detailed as well. Honestly, he's one of the most meticulous figmas I've seen. Because uh, he's got a very busy outfit, doesn't he? You know, of, of all of them, Reaper is the type of one that, you know, Tetsuya Nomura from Final Fantasy fame would. I'm sure he is in love with this outfit because it's just got belts and crosses and loads of things going on. 
And then over to his pauldrons, he's got his shoulder pad things. He's got his like spiky gauntlets on. And obviously his right hand is like that. So as you can see, his wrist doesn't really move up and down much. I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. I hope it's not frustrating, but we'll see. Right, and obviously, sorry, there's some more shotgun shells there. I don't know how this man reloads. Honestly, like, well done to him, because I can maybe see that being easy, but, like, imagine trying to load a gun with the shells on your chest. Uh, I've never loaded a gun, so maybe I'm speaking out of turn here, but it doesn't logically seem very worth it. Uh, and there's his left hand with the two spikes. Uh, and round back. Now, this, for some reason, took me ages to be able to port in the, like, uh, the stand here. I genuinely, for a while, thought I was putting it the wrong way, and I'd, like, mix it up with the base here, but no, it was just very, very tight. So I don't know if that's part of just Repo or just the version I have. But, you know, I mean, it, it's better than having a really loose port, I suppose. Uh, he's got his, like, weird metal spinal thing on the back of his trench coat. And down here, his trench coat does, like, separate a little bit. Uh, you can kind of make it move. Not loads, but, you know, enough. I will say, that sounds very, very cheap, doesn't it? I mean, I know the reason. It's it's not to make him, like, bottom heavy or, like, fall backwards. But, you know, basically, if, if he fell off your display sideways, this would snap. Like, no no doubt about it. So do do be careful if you purchase a Reaper. Um, and the last thing I'd like to show you guys, which is something I mentioned at the start of this, as something they obviously wouldn't do, you can take his hood off. So, hang on, BRB. There we go. That looks wrong, doesn't it? Uh, is it just me? Like, his head looks tiny. I suppose it's because I'm used to seeing the hood. Also, the hood get, goes on, like, really easy and stuff, and... Obviously, I'm quite a big fan of how they made the fabric look and everything. It does look like a hood. But yeah, so this is like Reaper without the hood. And it just, it doesn't look right. I, I don't like it. I mean, I know there's the skin of like pre-Reaper Reaper, isn't there? Like, um, didn't it come with the like Founders Edition or whatever you call it? I mean, I know he is a human under there. But like, that looks strange. I don't know, man. But anyway, right, I'm going to go take like loads of photos now, uh, as I usually do, so prepare for a photo collage of like six or so poses that I've managed to pull off with him, and then I'll be back to discuss the like wrap-up and what I think of the figure. So, take it away, music! Okay, I have returned. I've had uh, quite a bit of fun posing uh, Reaper, actually. So there's a few things I've realised as well. I'll go over those in a second. But yeah, honestly, he's um, he's quite a fun figure to pose because obviously he's quite edgy and melodramatic. So yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool. You, you can do a lot of brooding with this uh, Reaper figma. So first things first, I would just like to clarify that I mentioned earlier that these hands are attached to some kind of weird plastic peg. How do you get those in? I'm an idiot. These are just kind of hand holders. Uh, they fit in like a regular Figma uh, hand would. I think maybe the joint is a little bit longer than a standard Figma one. I can't quite tell. It feels about the same for me, but I don't know. They usually do those hand tree things, don't they? Where you like put several hands on a bit of plastic. I don't know. Um, but I've, you know, I've, I've had a good mess about with him now. Um, he's not really a figure you want to do much with the legs with, if that makes sense. I mean, his knees and his feet are perfectly poseable. You can pull off a lot of action poses, but he's not that type of character, if that makes sense. Like, making him lunge and jump just doesn't seem right for Reaper. He's, he's not that kind of guy, really. 
Um, so I've gone with the classic pose. I knew this is the pose I wanted him to be in when I displayed him, which I shall be doing like this. Um, I will say it is hard to get it like bang on and from certain angles it does look a bit strange. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was kind of hoping that maybe you'd get arms, you know, like you would with Nendroids, where you can get arms for, like, crossing or, you know, whatever. I was kind of expecting maybe you'd have two arms that are just, like, static. You can't move them, but they'd lock into each other to do with apples. Admittedly, that is asking a lot, um, and that would have probably propped the price of this up quite a bit. So, to be honest, it's not the end of the world. It's just... It does see it does look a little bit strange from like certain angles, but I like it anyway. Um, and the good thing with Figma's, if it looks derpy after too long, just change it, just move him. That's what I love about figures. Um, but yeah, so uh, f first of all, as well, I really like the the back is just black, pure black. There's there's nothing there. There's not even a Talon uh, symbol, though. I'm thinking of Papa Parade, I think, which is why I was expecting that there. But, you know, it's a nice backing and stuff. All the accessories, you've seen most of the hands on him. The only ones I haven't tried are, like, his fists, but there's a bit of a hole in them. Because I don't know what I'm meant to do with that. Like, they just look like the balled-up fists. And I'm, who's going to display Reaper with balled-up fists? That's just weird. But, anyway, uh, we've had a look at him in detail. There is one thing I will say that I think feel like is a bit of a bull shot uh, and that is this pose here now maybe I was doing it wrong maybe I meant to lean him more forward or something um, but I, I did take two photos of him doing death blossom I want to say it's death blossom right um, you know with with all the attachments and these on the end of his guns and kind of you know it turned up sideways the figure doesn't hold that pose. Like, the weight of everything, especially these on the end, just make the arms flop. Um, you can't really keep them out. I mean, as I said, maybe maybe the fault is on me here. Maybe I was meant to um, change to this one or something to hold him up. I don't know. But the shoulders and arms just didn't seem like they were fit to really hold up the Death Blossom pose. Uh, I mean, I was never going to display him doing that anyway, but it was a little bit disappointing to kind of... I, I'd got it kind of right, and I was trying to pose it to get a good shot, and then his arm started drooping. They just never got back again. Um, so I don't know, maybe maybe it's just with my figure, but I feel like I read a while ago someone complaining that it doesn't really live up to the hype, which is a shame, really, but, uh, you know, there you go. Also, this, I've never really had much use for making it further but again maybe it's because i haven't you know delved enough into him in different kind of poses i don't know um and yeah and <laughs> i've realized i forgot to take any photos with this thing here it looks all right to be honest like it does look like there's a weird shadow thing below him right here so that's kind of cool um i will say from below and he is slightly looking up at the moment where the camera is it does look a little bit derpy, him crossing the things, but, you know, when I'm displaying it, you'll be looking down on him more, so that'll work. Uh, sorry, I'm all over the place. and just trying to remember things to do. Uh, as I mentioned, the hood can come off. That's weird. Don't do that. Unless... Look, look at what they did to my boy. <laughs> but, yeah, overall, this is a very good figure. Um, I would say I'd put him on level with Genji Figma, to be honest. He's got a lot of posing potential. I am I am still a little bit concerned that his wrists will one day kind of droop because of the weight of the gun. I mean, the guns are really light. They're quite hollow feeling. So it's not going to weigh him down anytime soon. But I am still mildly concerned about that. But it should be fine because, to be honest, it's a chunky figure as well. Whereas Genji felt a bit more flimsy and kind of... I think looked a bit more awkward when he put him in certain poses just because he was so spindly. Reaper can get away with a lot more because he's chunkier, I think. Um, and yeah, overall, as I've mentioned, like, I just love his outfit. Honestly, even if this was a statue, I'd have probably bought... I know there is a very expensive Death Blossom statue, isn't there? Uh, I, 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 I like Reaper, but not £250, like, if you get me. 
But no, honestly, this is a brilliant figure. As a, you know, the, the costume, the look, he's the edgiest edgelord in the game. Obviously, if you're not into Reaper, you know, I, I don't think this Figma would be for you. But if you like him, or honestly, as I've mentioned with uh, Genji as well, the design is just unspecific enough you could get away with him being, like, a henchman or just a cool edgelord guy you want for your displays, even if you've never played Overwatch. It's not a, it's not a bad purchase, to be honest. As with Genji as well, I imagine this is probably around the same price it was when it came out, or maybe a little bit reduced, because uh, apparently these didn't sell as great. Wish I'd known uh, when I pre-ordered all of these. But, yeah, that about wraps it up, honestly. I can't think of much more to say. He's a very solid figure. Some of the hand parts, I can't see me ever displaying him with, but whatever, you know, too much choice is never a bad thing, especially with figures. And he, yeah, he's just he's just right. He's what I wanted in a Reaper figure, really. Shame about the Death Blossom kind of defect thing, but eh, what are you going to do? And that about wraps it up. Um, I forgot to give it a number score. I can't remember what I gave Genji, but it's the same number. Did I say eight? Eight and a half? Nine? I don't know. It's about in that ballpark. Hopefully you liked the um, pictures I put up as well. Uh... That about wraps it up, really. So, as mentioned in the Genji one, I do have one more Overwatch Figma left. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Will you be able to guess who it is? Uh, potentially, maybe you'll, you'll kind of get the theme, but we'll see. I've still got lots of other figure reviews to come up as well. I'll leave a uh, handy little playlist of those and like a mystery review that YouTube choose just for you. Um... And that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've got this. Can can your one do the Death Blossom? Uh, I would be genuinely quite interested. Uh, or, you know, let me know with the other Overwatch Figmas as well, apart from Genji, obviously, because I own that. But, you know, I am curious because I never bought all of them. I like Overwatch, but, not you know, not enough that I'd buy the entire cast in Figma form. But yeah, right, I'm going to head off now before I keep rambling even more. So, um, yeah, until next time, from the shadows. <laughs>